My name is Karen Burns, and I would like to invite you to a Zoom Bible study that meets on Tuesday mornings from 10 to 1130. Pastor Aaron has named us the Bible Zoomers. We will begin our new Bible study on Tuesday, September 6, and we'll be studying the book of Ruth. The only book you will need to bring is your Bible. If you were able to log into the Zoom Sunday service, you can join our study. The link can be found in the calendar or in the small group description. I would also email you the link each week. If you are having difficulties getting out and about for whatever reason, Zoom is a good way to connect with others. If you are still masking indoors, Zoom provides an opportunity for you to see faces and smiles. You might be hesitant to join a Zoom group, but this is stress-free Zooming. First, if you feel that you might miss a session or two, no worries. Each session stands alone. Second, all you need to join is yourself, your device, and we recommend a Bible. But even if you don't have your Bible right by you, we read the Bible pass passage at each study. Please don't think that you need to be prepared to join. Third, if you are not led to share or talk during the session, that is okay. I believe in quiet participation and I'm sure God does too. Also, you do not have to turn your camera on if that makes you feel uncomfortable. Just join with the video off. As a facilitator, I always have my camera on even if I'm having a bad hair day, but you do not have to do that. Finally, no worries about technical difficulties. They happen and I always have my phone on so you can call or I might be calling you because of my technical difficulties. We are also here to help you with any Zoom problems. The format for the Zoom study is usually 10 to 15 minutes of fellowship and share time, reading the Bible passage, watching a video, discussion, and then time for prayer and concern. If you are interested, the number, my number and my email address is on the screen now. And if you, if you misplace that or lose it, just call the church and they will give you the information. We would love to have you.